Hello and welcome to College of Health Sciences at California North State University. My name is Dr. Reem Al Olavi and I'm an assistant professor of biology and biotechnology here at CHS. Um, so basically I am a pharmacist and uh, afterwards I got my master's and PhD in biotechnology followed by a master's in public health from George Washington University. And I also, I also have a training in uh, research ethics from the University of Maryland. And I'm also a project management professional certified from Project Management Institute here in the US as well. Um, I teach several courses. I teach biochemistry online and on campus in addition to pharmacology, advanced cell and molecular biology, and cures where I have a couple of students who work with me on a specific research topic that I will share with you actually in a couple of slides. And uh, my courses usually are a blend of online videos, in-class lectures, discussion boards, group projects and presentations in addition to some fun extra credit opportunities like the one you're seeing here in the picture which was a tennis meetup. And um, in this uh, particular uh, extra credit activity, actually, the students had to write up a couple of sentences uh, about the impact or the effect of sports in general on the cellular level. And these were uh, cell and molecular biology students who I was blessed to teach. Um, so that is for my courses. As for my previous research, actually, while, while I was working on my master's and PhD, I was able to identify several drug leads that target both hepatitis C virus and malaria. And this research project uh, resulted in a couple of peer-reviewed publications in addition uh, to three uh, patents that were published um, in the USPTO. And then I worked a little bit on triple negative breast cancer and the effect of uh, some of the natural products on um, metastasis and blocking metastasis and then um, while working as an NIH funded postdoctoral fellow um, in UC Davis Mind Institute um, I did work on the genetics and epigenetics of autism spectrum disorder fragile X syndrome in addition to the neurodegenerative disorder called FAXTAS fragile X associated tremor and ataxia syndrome okay and actually, FAXTAS is the disease that I'm still focusing on currently uh, through my research at CHS. So for my current research, it is basically to elucidate the role of heat shock proteins that are part of the protein stabilizing machinery like you will uh, learn about in biochemistry or in cell and molecular biology and how important these chaperone proteins or this family of proteins in stabilizing the proteins after um, uh, they are translated. So basically the aim of my current research is to elucidate the role of these heat shock proteins in the pathogenesis of FAXTAS, which is again fragile X associated tremor and ataxia syndrome, and it is a neurodegenerative disorder. And as you can see here, uh, throughout this research project, we usually uh, use different techniques, whether proteomic or genetic. In case of proteomic, we have the ELISA, the multiplex, the dot blot arrays, and then we have SNP genotyping in case of genetics and so on. So there are many other techniques. So this is for my current research. I will end with my favorite quote, which says that science knows no country because knowledge belongs to the humanity and it is the torch which illuminates the world. And it was actually said by Louis Pasteur. Um, and that is why I feel that I'm really blessed to be part of the CHS community at CNSU, because here we are truly diverse. You will find people from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities, with different ideas and so on. So if you want to sense this diversified and amazing environment yourself, join us at CHS. And thank you for listening.